Use my defensive scheme to get easy pressure off the edge and dictate how your opponent plays offense. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. And for this video in particular, you definitely want to subscribe because next uh, tomorrow I'm going to be posting game pay, game, actual gameplay of this scheme in action. I've got a couple games underneath my belt with this scheme and I just broke this out of the box. I was in a lab looking at creating something uh, just to mess up my opponent's reads and um, I've got gameplay already. You can see um, where I basically held two opponents to a total of 14 points with the scheme. So uh, this is going to be out of the nickel double A gap, the two, uh, the two, four, five double A gap. Uh, a very popular defense. And no, I'm not going to be just running uh, strictly the mid blitz. No, this is a full scheme. This is going to basically catch your opponent off guard, and it's going to help you dictate uh, how you can uh, attack your opponent. Now, um, there's going to be a couple adjustments I'm going to make. First and foremost, we have a cover one hole as one of our base audibles. We've got the mid blitz. We're going to leave that. We got cover two. We're going to leave that, and we got cover two uh, show two. Uh, we're going to change that out. So the cover one hole, I'm going to I'm going to switch that out with the fouling play. And this is going to is going to be one of the base defenses that I'm going to go ahead and switch into right away, which is going to be, be the nickel dog Meg. Not a very good defense in previous Maddens, but in this Madden, I like it. I think it's something's really going to throw your opponent off. Also, the cover three show two. I want to go and switch that out which it doesn't it doesn't align how I want it to, to look so I'm gonna go ahead and use the cover three cloud show two um, and this is gonna give me an opportunity to go and bait my opponent into a pick because I've got I haven't a cloud but I'll still show my my opponent to cover three now here's the key to this defense this is what makes this defense unique and it's it's basically one of those pro tips and one of those things that you want you, you understand when you when you play this game for quite a long time out of the huddle I'm gonna come out of the cover three sky the cover three sky and there's a reason we're gonna do that now I'm gonna run this against random shotgun passes the CPU will get a couple breaks maybe not but let's let's watch how this works now the reason I do this is because I come out of the cover three sky notice defensive back are both down to the line of scrimmage I do this deliberately because I want to basically get those defensive backs down the line with scrimmage and I'm gonna go ahead and play the center fielder now it does put me in a situation where I have to play the middle of the field but I actually I'm gonna clean that up by doing the following adjustment I'm gonna go into the nickel dog mag okay now the, the defender historically is gonna is going to make an adjustment that look but he comes back down into uh, the area right here down in the box so I'm still giving my opponent the same look that he saw before now a slight adjustment to do is I'm gonna do a quick adjustment and I'm gonna go ahead and base line. this pushes the guys out just a little bit slightly but I still got that guy down in the box and I, I do the base line because it gives me, it gives me some pressure uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hover over the center. I'm going to hold my left trigger button. Now what's critical is that I'm going to play the opposite side where the man coverage is at. The man coverage, I'm not going to worry about that side because I've got a quarter flat. I've also got another quarter over there and then I've got that man coverage. So if he hit, decides to attack the flat, I'm not really worried about that. I'm going to have a defender out in that area and if he tries to go over top, I'm going to actually have two guys going up top. I'm going to be looking at uh, focusing on the opposite side away from the man coverage. And I'll be looking for that slot receiver because he's going to be where the, where the weakness of this defense is at and over the middle of the field. So if we get the pressure, what's going to happen is that uh, uh, what's going to happen is these guys are going to fall down. So let's go ahead and do this again. That neg, we're going to base the line. We're going to pull our guy down and watch the, watch the other safety come down to the line of scrimmage. Now, this is going to be basically a, a very intimidating front to run against because you see everybody down in the box, and that's what's going to be very intimidating. So most players are not going to try to run, a, run against it, but you can see everybody's actually playing deep zones. Now my area of the field is going to be the middle of the field off to the right because I've got the man coverage off to the left, and that's going to be the area I'm going to go. I'm going to try to preoccupy the center a little bit. And then I'm going to go for the coverages. And what happens is sometimes you get this type of a crazy little block shed. If you could preoccupy the center, you can get this. Uh, you you'll get this. Uh, you'll get this guy clean 
off the edge, unblocked. So you can see he's just completely out of step. Now, granted, I've got one of the better defensive uh, defensive uh, players in the game coming off the edge. But what if I can preoccupy the center, I'm going to get a free release. And a lot of times that, that running back is never going to be able to get there. So I want to show you something. If he would have sent his running back out on a route, this guy, my, my other defensive end would have came in clean. And I've got basically this guy right here sliding out for coverage to take away any kind of wing route or wheel route or whatever. And then I'm just going to go ahead and play in the middle of the field and just try, try to take away some of his reads. Now take a look at this. He's going to have to make a decision very quick. He's going to have to try to throw the flats. Um, and it's just it's very difficult for him to do that. So we're going to base a line, show blitz, uh, and then basically bring the guy down, switch into this defense. And if we have time, we're going to go ahead and pass commit. And once again, I'm going to be looking. I've got three defenders off the left, and we we'll look off to the right. I'm going to do the. I'm going to defend to the opposite side where the man coverage is at. And we're just going to go ahead and try to play the middle of the field. I still got a defensive back in that area, so even though he picked up some good yards, I've got defenders in the area. So just a quick adjustment, just audible into the neg, uh, the neg play right here, which is a nickel, nickel dog meg, and then we're going to base a line, and we're going to hover, and I'm going to go ahead and play the opposite side of the field, uh, the opposite of where the man coverage is at, and then we're just going to go ahead and take it. So do you see how this defensive back was in the area to take away that ball? So it takes away those flats that you think are going to be available with this defense. Um, and then uh, what's cool about it is that I can actually go ahead and jump into other different types of coverages to mess up my, my opponent's uh, thought process. So I, also, I, I automatically have um, basically this cover three shell look right here. So if I want to go and mess up my opponent's looks, I can go ahead and do this, especially if he's trying to hit me underneath. And this will actually go ahead and mess up his reads a little bit right here that's just, that's just perfect animation for me a perfect play where you can see where I can mess up his reads and if I want to go ahead and get more pressure against my opponent what I can do is I can take that quarter flat and put that guy into a blitz so all you have to do with the blitz is hit your left uh, your left pad to the to, you hit your left pad to the to the right and blitz all and now I've got some hot serious heat going off the edge right here and once again I'm going to play off to the left side of the field because it's going to be where, where less coverage is at and you can see right here you had to get rid of that ball hot and once again another interception uh, by my defensive player What's cool about this is that you can do multiple different types of defenses and your opponent is going to be forced to go ahead and try to defend uh, against this type of coverage. So he's going to keep seeing the same looks. He's going to see that cover four look uh, shell with all those man coverages. And now you can go ahead and start playing some psychological games with him as far as the way you're going to run your coverages. Um, he's, going to, he's going to have to make better reads. He's going to be forced to block his running back. You can go and jump into a cover two. Uh, this is a little bit more of a risky coverage, and what I like to do is since I've got that one defender down, I'm playing down in the box, I'll go ahead and take uh, my outside def uh, defender and actually put him in a deep half. So I'm just going to play the middle of the half and maybe give up that flat. Uh, if I want a 2-2, I can always go ahead and uh, take uh, my, my one, one, one defender and put him in a hard flat over here and just rush three. But I like to have that threat of that pressure coming in. So this is just kind of a, co a coverage thing. There's a nice little sack right there against the CPU. And if, if I want to, too, um, I could just go ahead and just send a quick blitz with the cover three. So now I've got people in the, in, uh, in the middle of the field. Um, I've got guys down in the shells right here. So i got a curl flat down here. This guy's coming down in the flat. I'm going to play the middle of the seam. That's going to be where the area is going to be at. And I've got the pressure that I can go ahead and always can send pressure against my opponent with, this, with this, these type of situations. So this is a defense. I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. 
you're going to go ahead and see me use this particular defense and actually cause some fits with my opponent. But what's cool about it is that I've always got a six-man blitz that's going to get some intense heat against my opponent, and it's going to be in my back pocket whenever I want it, and it's going to give me an opportunity to go ahead and stop it. So as you can see right here, he throws the flat. I've got three defenders out there to clean it up. So once again, I'm a subscriber. Thanks for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to see this in live gameplay, uh, gameplay action, go ahead and subscribe because you're going to see me playing this against live opponents. I'll probably be using this defense primarily until I find something else to work with. So once again, thank you for your support, and until next time.